So, have you ever asked yourself, how do the Pokewalkers determine which items uh, you receive whenever you connect two Pokewalkers? Well, I believe I've figured that out in part. Uh, I asked myself the same question, and so I ran a bunch of tests, and I noticed a pattern. Now, this pattern, this method that I've come up with to project what items you get from the connection only seems to work when neither Pokemon, neither Pokewalker is holding an item from one of these previous connections. I'll illustrate that uh, neither Pokewalker is holding an item from that previous type of connection. Whenever you move over on the Pokemon and items screen past the current item held it'll go to another screen if you have any items uh, you can tell that I was pressing the, item, pressing the over key nothing was popping up so I don't have any items. I'll illustr illustrate this again once I have items to show you what you mean if you're not familiar with the screen. So Umbreon doesn't have any items and let's check Kingdra Pokemon items it doesn't have any items at all. So, neither is holding any items. The Kingdra is on the volcano path. Um, in order to determine what items you'll get, the route you're on and the steps you have currently for this day are critical. Um, effectively, the item received is almost 100 percent decided by the average level uh, the average uh, item tier that has been unlocked for the given path so for instance since the Umbreon is on the treehouse and it has how many steps for the day? 22,800 steps for the day. Looking up on Cerebi, they have a helpful guide. For the treehouse, the highest item step requirement is 8,000. And that would be for the Salak Berry. Now, the Umbreon I have actually has fewer steps than the Kingdra of my girlfriend's Pokewalker. And so I'll predict that the Pokewalker holding the Umbreon will actually receive the tier 9 item, the calcium. Now, looking back at the Pokewalkers, her Pokewalker holding the Kingdra is on the volcano path and she has how many steps? Yeah, 40,800, so she has much more, many more than I do. So her Pokewalker gets preference. So going back to Cerebi, opening up the other page I have open. For the Volcano Path route, the Apicot Berry is the tier 10 item, and it also requires 8,000 steps. So my prediction is that she'll get the apricot berry and I will get the calcium. So, let's see what happens. Calcium apricot. And exactly as I predicted. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can see these items that you've obtained. It's past the Pokemon and items screen. If you go another over, it brings up items you received from gifts. And there's the calcium. And there's the apricot berry. Exactly as I predicted. So, as I said earlier, this method only works if neither Pokewalker is holding an item from a previous connection of this sort. 
So I hope this video was informative, um, if not very entertaining. So I appreciate any comments or ratings you're willing to give. Thanks for watching my vid. Bye-bye.